Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making what I call a weeknight recipe. That means that it's quick and easy, you know, when you're busy and you just wanna get dinner on the table quick and you want it to be healthy and delicious. So this recipe will fit the bill. What are we making? We're making some grilled shrimp. We're gonna do it all in one pan to keep things, you know, easy for cleanup as well. Uh, grill that shrimp up and then we're gonna cook up some cauliflower and onions and pesto and we're gonna mix it all together with some tomatoes and serve that shrimp right on top. It makes a delicious dinner, guys. I think you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's talk about our ingredients so we can get started. First off, we've got our shrimp. I've got, uh, I'm using frozen shrimp here that are wild caught. You know, guys, anytime I eat fish, I always make sure that I buy you know, wild caught fish because I just feel like it's much healthier. Now, what I did here with these is because they were frozen, I let them out to thaw and there's an awful lot of water from being frozen in them. So I was patting them dry and now they're pretty dry and ready to go. We'll also need some pesto sauce. Now I have a video for you where you can um, make your own homemade pesto sauce, but for our weeknight meal, sometimes we wanna just, you know, get this on the table quick. So you wanna use your favorite pesto sauce that's already prepared. We'll need some minced garlic. I have a super fine dice here on the yellow onion. I've got some cherry tomatoes, which I am going to cut into halves. We've got our cauliflower rice. I bought mine from Trader Joe's and uh, it's ready to go. We'll need some chicken broth, some white wine, which is optional. Some of you I know don't like to use wine in your dishes and you can leave it out. We're gonna be using the, a little bit more of the chicken broth in that case if you did that. We'll also need some olive oil. All right, we're ready to start cooking. Now, I wanna go over with you the pan I'm using. I'm using a stainless steel pan. Now, I have options, right? I could use cast iron, I can use a ceramic pan that I have, or I could use Teflon or stainless steel. I chose stainless steel for a reason. Now, the reason is, is I'm grilling the shrimp and I wanna create some fond on the bottom of the pan. That's where you get those brown bits that then add a lot of flavor to your dish. And if you use Teflon, I find that I don't create that, or even the ceramic pan. Now, I could use uh, cast iron, but cast iron, my pan that I have is a little bit too small for this recipe. So my second choice, stainless steel. So I just wanna explain that to you so you can get the best flavor into your dish. So I've got my pan going here over a medium high heat. I wanna get it nice and hot, guys. So I'm gonna add my olive oil to the pan. All right, so I'm gonna drop my shrimp in. And like I said, about a minute or so in the pan. I'm not gonna touch them at all. I want them to, like I said, caramelize a bit. It's gonna spit and spatter at you a little, so be aware of that. Don't overcrowd it. Make sure each shrimp touches the bottom of the pan. And always do this in batches if you wanna add more shrimp to this. I've also got a plate right behind the pan here. It's starting to get warm from the heat from the, the cooking of the shrimp. And I'm going to transfer my shrimp to that plate as they get done and that plate is warm now and it will help keep my shrimp warm. So once we uh, cook these about a minute, I'm gonna flip them over and do the same thing for the second side. All right, so once we get those cooked a bit, I'm gonna start taking some of these out, like I said, and placing them on my pan, on my dish over here. One thing you wanna make sure is you don't overcook your shrimp because then they become rubbery. Okay, so now you see all this brown fond in here. That's the flavor, guys. Okay, so I got my temperature on low right now. I'm gonna add some more olive oil, probably a tablespoon, maybe two. And I'm gonna put my temperature on medium low at this point, and I'm gonna add the onion. And I'm gonna saute this onion for about 10 minutes. And I'm scraping the bottom here, but we'll get more of that off when I add the, the chicken broth to this dish and the onion, uh, I'm sorry, and the wine. All right, this is what our onions look like after about 10 minutes of sauteing. Now it's time to add the garlic. Okay, we'll cook that for a minute and then we're gonna add the tomatoes. Soften them up, let's just do that. There we go, beautiful and bright color. It's gonna make our dish look beautiful. And I'm gonna saute this for a minute or two. And I'm gonna toss in just a splash of white wine you can do that or not, that's up to you. I just happen to like the flavor. That'll help deglaze the pan, make sure I get every last uh, brown bit off the bottom of that pan. I don't wanna leave any flavor behind. Next goes our 
cauliflower. So I'm going to pour my package in, stir that up, and we need to add our chicken broth to this because I need a little moisture in there so that we can saute the cauliflower rice and get it soft. So I'm going to cook this for about, you know, five or six minutes. Just, you know, you can taste it as you go and see, you know, how firm you like it or how soft you want it to be. I've been cooking this for six minutes now. So now I'm going to add the pesto sauce. Notice I have not added any salt yet and I wanted to wait until I added the pesto sauce because it has uh, a fair amount of salt in it. So let's stir in our pesto sauce and if you need more liquid, this seems to be fine, uh, you can always add a little more chicken broth to get it to mix in. So combine it all really well. Okay, so now that I've got the pesto all mixed in, now you want to taste it and see if you need to add salt. I just need a little bit of salt to this, so I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit in. Stir this up. Time to add the shrimp back to the pan to make sure it's nice and hot. So I'm going to toss those in. Give this a stir for about a minute, and then it's ready to serve, guys. It's a quick meal. Like I said, man, it's great. All right, everybody, that's our recipe for today. Quick and easy. Uh, take those little extra steps, do those you know little things that make a big difference in your dish. Use the right pan, um, caramelize your onions, or at least cook them 10 minutes. You're going to get more flavor into your dish, and I think you're going to like it a lot better. All right, so I'm going to serve this up. Look at that, guys. Looks good, doesn't it? It's going to be my lunch today. I eat really good, you know? I really am uh, fortunate that way. <laughs> All right, let me cut this shrimp in half here and take a bite. Love that um, pesto sauce in there, the, the garlic and the onions and you know all those flavors that we are producing really come through. It's really delicious, guys. You could even uh, use chicken. If you didn't want to use shrimp, you could all, certainly substitute some chicken for that. So guys, I hope you try the recipe. Um, if you do, you can hashtag me over on social media at Rock and Robin Cooks and that way I'll get to see what you guys are making. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know, go ahead and click the button. There's a couple of them, one up there, one below the video, where uh, you'll get notified every week when I put out a new video. And uh, leave me a comment. If you have any questions or, you know, questions about this recipe, or if you have any recipe requests for me, I'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you try the recipe, and uh, we'll see you next time.